welcome to EA Sports live coverage of this friendly. Today it's Barcelona against Tottenham Hotspur. So without further ado, we're heading for the new camp. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hello everybody, I'm Martin Tyler. This is the new camp. Welcome what is going on guys? This is Music Major coming at you live with some FIFA 14 gameplay for you today. Just got a little bit of a preview that I wanted to do. We have some demo gameplay. It's not the actual game. I did not receive receive an advanced copy from EA. But if anybody is watching out there in the interwebs, please, next time, keep me in mind for FIFA 15. We did Pro Evolution Soccer approximately a week ago. I said this video was going to come out in due time. Unfortunately, it got delayed by some uh, family matters. But worry not. Everything is okay on that front. So luckily we are able to bring this video to you. Now by the time you're watching it, we are recording this on Wednesday, September 25th. The game has officially been out for about a day now, and I'm reading some mixed reviews on it, but I'm going to tell you, you know, lay it all out on the table here for you, Connoisseur, and tell you why or why not you should buy this game. Now, the first thing that you may notice in my description of opening this video up is that I'm describing it with a completely different title. We're calling it FIFA 14 as opposed to last year's title, FIFA Soccer 13. Now, EA has designed you know many of these games over time and in the states at least it's been known as FIFA soccer now they've rebranded it to be concurrent I guess with the European markets in the outside you know outside the United States because if you look anywhere particularly online in any shops online or anything like that you're going to see FIFA branded as FIFA it's not soccer they don't use that terminology over across the pond you know, so they're just going to stay and keep it one universal game called FIFA 14, which is very cool. Now, a couple of new things that you need to notice. If you're a next-gen connoisseur, you know, an Xbox One PS4 guy, there's going to be a new engine. It's called EA Sports Ignite. And the main thing with Ignite is that it's going to be very similar to real-world animations. It's one thing that I've noticed playing in this demo, and you'll see me probably monkey around with it a couple times here. This is not a live action game. This is cap gameplay that I've had from a couple of the run throughs of the demo that I had. But one of the main things that you'll notice in Ignite, as well as I think this is still the Infinity Engine that we're running with here, is that players, when they're sprinting, they'll stop. They will no longer stop on a dime. Uh, they will no longer stop on a dime with the greatest of ease. They have to complete their run. So that's actually something really cool. I liked it. It was very frustrating to get used to. And truth be told, I'm still not used to it. The next thing is that the One Touch is back. Now, what I've noticed with One Touch, excuse me one second. Had to clear the throat a little bit there. Uh, the one thing that I noticed with the One Touch is that it is a little stronger than last year to be honest with you because if you go in to play a ball if you're going in to play a ball the ball sometimes ricochets very hard it's a very different play whereas it would kind of almost not get sucked into you but you played it and you kept it a little more controlled it seems that the sensitivity with that is a little bit more uh, in your face so that's something that was an immediate notice for me at least playing the demo uh, I am Barcelona, if you didn't notice, and uh, as you see, I am struggling to get some passes off. I think we had this on a pretty high difficulty starting off because I thought I would be okay. Uh, just to let you know, the nuts and bolts and the under-the-hood things that we have with FIFA 14 here are the licenses. 21 Brazilian clubs are licensed. Uh, I'm just reading down my news and notes here. The Brazilian national team has also been licensed. Uh, this is the first time they've been licensed since FIFA 2, FIFA 10. See, I wanted to say FIFA Soccer 10. Um, Ultimate Team is back. I did find out through watching several live streams uh, that your FIFA points will transfer from 13 to 14. As from transferring from current gen to next gen, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to swing out, but uh, it should be all right there. Uh, stadiums too. You'll have over 60 authentic state. Or I'm sorry, you'll have 60 stadiums, including 32 real-world venues, uh, with new additions like La Bombonera in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and uh, Donbass Arena in Ukraine. Sorry guys, if I uh, am spelling that wrong. 
And then Barcelona's Camp mm, Camp New. Can't say that. Uh, yeah, because I think they call it Stadium something weird, but that's there. Uh, cover cover art that you will see around uh, around the world is going to be uh, Australia and New Zealand. You will see uh, 10K Hill, Australia. You'll see David Alba. Uh, Czech Republic will have Michael Kadlich. Uh Stephen El Shawari will be in Italy. Let's look at some others. Uh, Chicharito Hernandez in North America, with the exception of, I believe, America. I think uh, Messi will just be on the cover in America, if I'm not mistaken. And, of course, Lionel Messi, which will be the uh, the big thing. But, as you see, guys, here, I mean, it's relatively simple gameplay. It's just, it's not, I, I don't want to say it was a repackaged brand of FIFA, but it is, uh, with a little bit of tweaks. The lighting was one thing that stood out to me, too. The lighting looked like it vastly improved over last year's game. Last year's game felt kind of, I don't know how to say this, kind of muggy, kind of muddy, I guess would be what the colors felt like. Now it seems like they've reintegrated new colors, made it brighter, more vivid, something like that. That could be just pure speculation for me. Or it could actually be fact. I'm not entirely sure about that. But that was just a general impression for me. As you see here, too, guys, with the running, it is a bit uh, bit different. There is also a greater speed discrepancy there. As I'm uh, running down the pitch there with Pedro, uh, you can see he's a bit faster than some of the other people. It feels like they, they turned down the speed threshold a little bit there, so not everybody's catching up, which is nice. So if you got a faster team, you could play a little bit more to your strengths on that one. Another thing that I must always, always, always commend EA Sports on is the presentation that they have in the FIFA games. The presentation that they have in the FIFA games is unsurpassed by any of the other franchises that they have out there. So I'm talking your NHLs, your Maddens, your NCAAs. FIFA always puts minute details into the game that just make it feel like a so much greater experience rather than just playing another football game. It is just smaller things. Even that pre-game, that was kind of why I paused at the start there before I jumped in. That pre-game announcer saying, you know, here's your matchup with Mar with Barcelona and Tottenham Hotspur and here's Marty Tyler and Andy Smith or something like that. You know, that's big. To me, I am a huge, huge EPL guy. I watch almost every weekend whenever I have a free moment. And they're always doing cut-ins of the videos. So they're going to say, hey, we're jumping in the Manchester United Manchester City match. Or, hey, we're going to see Liverpool uh, play Crystal Palace. Or stuff like that. That's big to me. You know, it's small touches like that. I'll even go so far to say that EA Sports is kind of the rock star, if you will, of uh, sports games. And I, when I say Rockstar, I mean the publishers of Grand Theft Auto, which, hint, hint, wink, wink, down the road on the channel, we will have some videos on that, as well as I have another announcement coming up here, guys. We have begun to live stream. We are on Twitch.tv. I will put all the information into the description. That way you can get your daily dose of music major. Uh, I don't always put out videos. As I've told you guys in previous uh, videos, I am kind of slowing down with how busy I've become. However, I always do have time to stream, which is very nice. This will help me engage with you guys, let you, you know, let me know what you guys want to see on the channel, as well as I can engage in some future plans because I was, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do when the next generation consoles come out. Uh, they said they will continue to support the Xbox 360, not too sure uh, if I will continue to stream only 360 or stream next gen games. Uh, so it's going to be a great way to engage with you guys. I don't charge anybody to subscribe to the channel. I just do it for fun. I don't think I'm that good of a gamer, to be quite honest, to the point where I should charge people to watch me lose. Uh, I try to be entertaining for you guys, though, which is, uh, which is a good time. So I would definitely like to see some more people in the stream. Uh, we've had a few people take advantage of it, but I am looking forward to building the crowd up uh, even greater. So hopefully, guys, you will join me on Twitch TV. Uh, plus, you get to see me every night, which is awesome. I'm actually probably going to run off and do a stream after this video. But, uh, yeah, guys, all in all, I would give FIFA probably a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, not perfect uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Still stuff to improve on. But we'll see the next generation title soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later.